Hi, this is John Hillbrands. I'm going to talk about this check box or camp kitchen that I've made. It's made to be on top of your uh, picnic table and this particular one has water supply in it as well as a place for your stove. Um, it has a drop leaf front which will form your uh, an extra uh, working area so maybe you want to cook there or when you're washing your hands have that as your washing hand station. Let me pause this and show you how that hand washing works. Okay so remember the bus tray that was underneath the water jug is now um, being used for your sink and these are bus trays like I just mentioned they're 17 and a half by 12 and a half and they form my drawers but they also form the sink here and Let's show you how that water supply works. So there's no reason to have complicated water delivery systems because it's just gravity takes care of that and gives you really good water flow. And with these Coleman jugs that are five gallons, and then you just take the jug out and fill it when you need to. Um, and when you're done washing of whatever, you can just dump it out and, and you're back in business. So this is another way of working on uh, in a work area and that you have your stove on and you know they light really easily these butane stoves um, they just use a little butane bottle and you can get like a, a pack of six of them not too expensive if you order them um, this particular unit was left all the way open because my niece has a Coleman uh, the old-fashioned grill and it's really long so um, let me get in on some more dimensions Let's put this away. So uh, the height here is 23 and a half inches and remember that these are bus trays so they're 12 and a half in width so this needs to be about 12 and three quarters uh, to get to this first divider. And we have the two drawers, the place to hold the water jug, and the bottom drawer to hold your cleaning supplies. It has uh, basically desk hinges to um, support it. And this is all half inch birch plywood. This is what's called a slam latch. And almost everything that I've done, I use screws that go all the way through the wood versus just wood screws holding them in because half inch is really thin and if you just try and screw it in eventually that latch would break off as well as uh, these are screws that go through for the handle and screws that go through for the uh, desk hinge uh, so screw with nuts in fact I've actually uh, double nutted for a jam nut on everything so that we uh, we don't have anything coming loose later um, as I mentioned, this is 18 inches both direction with plywood uh, that comes up around the sides. So this is the interior dimension, 18 by 18, and the outer dimension of the height is 23 and a half. You can see that this is for my niece, and so I wrote Nikki's Hobo Kitchen with the router. And, um, you know, I don't know, I'm trying to make it look more cool. <laughs> and uh, walking around. Uh, you can see that this is a nice birch plywood. I actually have the option when you get birch plywood at a lumber yard um, Mine had two different birch plywoods. This one was eight dollars more. I guess it has better grain and Yeah, it's really pretty much better than the the, um, the home improvement store let me leave this open and show you a comparison to my uh, unit that goes in the back of my minivan. So imagine this is the hatch of my minivan and this comes out facing the outside and on the other side is my fold-up sofa. So actually my fold-up sofa is just enough length to come into a bed that hits this. But the reason why I bring that up is this is my inspiration is the same size as that area of this box and this box has power. So with a camping battery and then a wire going to a fuse and then one of these RV uh, or um, boat little control panels you can supply your power that gives you your lights, plug in your phone and these things will give you like two or three days of power. Um, I actually have a solar charger for mine 
but uh, even if you plugged it in at home and then went camping, you'd have two or three days of power with this. And because this is a shorter area for your stove, all of this area here, just imagine that box shifted over, uh, this area here could be for your, all of your electronics, just like this short little panel is for this electronics. So let's walk back here and I can show you what I mean. So imagine if instead of the full-length Coleman, you have the shorter stove, you have all of this area for your electronics. So you can have your light right here, you can do your map light right there, and then you can have your control panel back here for, um, for more um, plugging things in while you're at your uh, picnic table. So that's a, a nice little chuck box here and um, I hope you like it. Uh, give me a like and a subscribe. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers and I think that would be awesome if I could so please give it to give that to me and I'll try and get some more details I may even give you a downloadable um, option to get some plans for this although I think you can pretty much figure it out if you really study <laughs> this video and what I have said so thank you very much for watching my video and I hope this helps you out